So which is, uh, what's one of your companies you're working on? You're working on when? Yeah. Right? All right, so I'm going to show you my screen. Okay, so yeah, it defaults to the income statement and then you can click on the balance sheet, click on the cash flow. Uh, so either way, what you do is you copy this link. So since it's defaulted on the income statement, this link will pull in to Excel the income statement. Okay. If I go to the balance sheet, this will be the link. It'll actually say balance sheet in the okay. link. And if I want to pull in cash flow, then I'll use this link. It actually says cash flow in it. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to copy that link. All right, so I'm using um, Microsoft 2016, I think it is. Um, so the way that this works in there is you go to the data tab. Okay. And click on from web. And I just paste that URL in there. And it's the cash flow statement that I'm pulling in. And I click OK. And then I wait for it to actually pull that data in. And in a moment, it's going to give me a dialog box to choose what data I want to pull in. I'll show you what that looks like here as soon as it brings it in. Here we go. OK, so there's, so there's several things over here that it pulls in. This document has really nothing in it, you know, so that's not what you want to pull in. Table okay. zero has, you know, the previous close, uh, what the opening bid is for their stock, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's got some information about their stock. We don't want that either. Uh, table one has the market cap and the PE okay. ratio and blah, blah, blah. And that's not what we're looking for either. So table two is what we're looking for. This is your cash flow statement for the three years. Okay. And you click load and at some point it populates it. Voila. Ooh. Okay. It's See. taking a moment, but there you go. There you go. And there's the data. Awesome. Okay. That makes life so much easier. That's awesome. Okay.